OK, there we are, four tracks of layered guitar. And let's go into the mixer. Boom, here we go. OK, now in the mixer, we've got this new feature, VCA Fader. Now, you just get any collection of channels that are in the same category that you want to control all together. In this case, four layered guitars that all make the rhythm acoustic guitar part. Or this could be all the outputs for a drum kit, or all the um, four ch uh, channels and tracks for a brass section or something. Okay. You need to first right click on one of the channels and channel strip components, make sure this VCA is ticked. Which I, I oddly, as this is a brand new feature to, to 10.1, for some reason it's not ever switched on by default, which is kind of strange. Um, so switch on VCA, boom, and now you get this extra row called VCA. Now, this is not the same as the group row. We select all the channels that we want to put into our VCA group, which are in a similar category. In this case, these are all the layered guitars. And in the VCA boxes here, in on any of the highlighted channels, left click, create new VCA for selected channel strips, boom. And a VCA fader is created, title VCA1 in this case, because it's the first one created, and each of the channels for the four gu layered guitars receives that title in its VCA box. I'll double click and rename the VCA guitars and it, the title changes in the VCA box for the channels in that VCA group. Okay, now what's happening now is this VCA fader controls the volume of the combination of these four channels that are in the VCA group. But it's not like the groups where if you move one fader the others move relative so the fader you're moving with the VCA group you can move the individual faders of all the channels in that VCA group to set their individual levels as you want but this fader controls the volume of all of them now it doesn't make the faders move on those VCA group channels but it is controlling their volume okay and this is not the same as when you get a bunch of channels and group them to a group bus. Yes, you can then control the volume of them all as a group, but to do that you have to change their output destination to the group bus. With the VCA fader, the channels in the group go to whatever is their destination. This VCA fader simply controls the volume of all of them as a group. And you can mute them and solo them as a group as well. Okay, so that's your VCA fader. OK, um, while we've got these extra tracks created here, let's just bring in the editor below like that. And I'll show you another feature. Um, let's just zoom in vertically a bit for the arrange area. Yeah, normally when you've got your uh, editor below, you push it up and it just masks the arrange area like that. We've got this new feature now here, this button, vertical auto zoom, click it and the arrange area auto vertically zooms to whatever space is available for it. That's quite a nice feature, isn't it? OK, so we've got that. There's this new vintage Mellotron. OK, let's load up a voice. There are not that many um, a preset, rather. There aren't that many presets. Three violins. OK, that's loaded. And the smart controls are the Mellotron controls. You've got two voices, sound one and sound two. Choose whichever voice you want for each of the two sounds. They can either the two sounds can be transposed and you blend them together here. Let me just get the um, musical typing. Yeah so this is three violins but the blend control is turned all the way to three violins. I can blend it up to bring in more of the boys choir on sound two. Etc. Right, and here's another preset. This one, flute, that everyone's talking about. You know, because it's the, it's the, um, it's the Strawberry Fields Mellotron sound from the Beatles' Strawberry Fields Forever. Etc. There's your Mellotron. Okay, so that's your 10.1 update main features. There's other stuff. Um, the retro synth's got a whole bunch of new presets. The PPG model for that can 
import audio. You can drag and drop audio into it, I believe, to make wave wavetable synthesis from. There's this note repeat panel that people are talking about. I'm not. I haven't checked that out yet. But um, but yeah, there's some stuff. I hope it's useful. And stay tuned because um, there's a full tutorial coming on this drum machine designer showing how to make your own kits and everything like that. Okay, so hope that's useful. I'll see you for that.